When thousands of athletes descend on Vancouver for the Olympics, health officials want to make sure they are protected. And they're not talking helmets and mouth guards. Chris Brown explains. You won't ever see any medals given out for this part of the Olympics, but out of sight of the cameras... You know what? What happens at Olympic Village stays at Olympic Village. But you know what? There's a lot of stress pent up over the week, so you know it's safe to say that some good times happen. There's quite a lot of partying and, uh, you know, there's beautiful people finishing the, the highlight of their life, so everyone's glowing golden and, and there's lots of parties and stuff, so it's uh, pretty, pretty exciting in the nighttime. And so it's become part of the Olympic tradition to stock the athlete's village with protection. For Vancouver, it means some 100,000 condoms will be given out free by local health authorities. That's roughly 15 for each competitor. People have sex. It's part of the normal human experience, and, and, and uh, uh, our job is to make sure that people can do so safely. In Beijing, authorities felt athletes needed a bit of a reminder to use them, so they came up with these amusing ads based on Olympic events. Basketball, cycling, archery, even gymnastic rings. You've got to use a ticket if you want to ride the ride. Condom makers have come up with some of the most ingenious and raciest ways to pitch their product. Although at this Vancouver condom shop, employee Scott Hurst says there's no specific brand designed for high performance users. Way over here is the barebacks because they actually provide a lot of sensation so people are actually going to feel some satisfaction but they're also well durable I mean these are athletes <laughs> this former Olympic snowboarder doubts that of that 100,000 there'll be any left over I can imagine those condoms being used pretty quickly and uh, pretty often it's a nice thing not to have to worry about on your way into the games maybe then there's the US curling association it's selling special Olympic condoms to try to raise money for its athletes they're stamped with a label familiar to all who play hurry harder. Chris Brown, CBC News, Vancouver.